All right, the last section we're going to deal with is going to be uh, involving what we call natural logarithms. Uh, they're logarithms, okay, so we're still going to be using all the properties that we've been using with logarithms. The difference is, is that when we talk about a, logar a natural logarithm, we'll talk about is ln, okay, what it is, it's log base e. Okay, so because, again, like I said, the properties of logarithms will still hold. So if I have two natural logarithms that are going to be added together, I can combine them into a single one with multiplication of that expression. Now, if I take the natural log of E itself, which we're going to run into here once in a while, okay, what's going to happen is you can think about it this way. It's log base E of E to the first, okay, which we talked about how when I take a logarithm, of an exponential piece and they have the same base, they undo each other, so I'd be left with one. But even if I didn't remember that, again, what I can do is set it equal to x because I don't know what to do with it, so I'm going to rewrite it in exponential form. So e to my base to the other piece, e to the first, same base, x equals 1. It's going to be important to remember that. Okay, So, how do I know if I'm going to use natural logs? Well, again, I know I'm going to use a logarithm in this problem because my exponent's in the variable. How I know I'm going to use natural log is because that's how I'm going to undo that e. Okay, So just like we did with uh, logarithms, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides because what happens, again, is our power property says, hey, that means I can take this exponent out in front. Now, we just talked about that. Natural log of e. That's equal to 1. So what I really have here now then is natural log of 18 equal to 3x times 1, or just 3x. Now it's simple. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Okay. So natural log 18, enter. We're still going to deal with finding my numerator and then dividing my num by my denominator, which may or may not have a logarithm in, in this case. So 0 0.9635. Okay. Go back and check it. E, second natural log. And they already set the parentheses up for you. 3 times 0 0.9635. I think it's close to 18 because of round off error, so we're good. All right. So my next example and this is one where we got to be careful because a lot of times people just want to jump in to natural log right away and just throw this out in front. Well, that doesn't work. Okay. If I'm going to do that, this is a product. I would have to break it into two pieces where each one of those individual pieces being added together, going backwards on my properties. So to avoid that, what we always want to try and do first is get that e to the x piece by itself. Okay. So in this case, I want to get rid of the 25, which is connected by multiplication, so it's easy to do. Let's divide. Now it's a pretty easy problem. Okay, now it's just like what we just got done doing. I see my variable in the exponent, know it's logarithms. See the e, know it's natural log. X comes out in front. Natural log of e again is 1, so x equals natural log of 4. 1 1.3863. So, natural log sometimes can be a little easier if it's e, okay? Because it's some because that natural log of e will always multiply out to one, so we eliminate that one piece all the time. Now, I can solve non-e equations with the natural log. If I went through and did this one. In section 5, what we do is we took the logarithm of both sides, got x times log of 2 equal log of 4.9, divided both sides by log of 2. Okay. So went in log 
enter, divide, log, 2, enter, get 2.293. I can do the same thing over here. Okay. Variables in the exponent, I just need to use a logarithm. Doesn't matter what base, I really could use base two if I want, but I want to use one that the buttons are on the calculator. Help me evaluate. So I go x, natural log of two then, natural log of 4.9, divide both sides by natural log of two, and notice it looks very similar. Okay. The only difference here is that, you know, there's natural logs, there's logarithms. But when I type it into my calculator, natural log of 4.9, oops, I did that first. Okay. So natural log of 4.9, enter, divide by natural log of 2, I still get the same value. Okay. So some people use natural logs all the time because then there's no confusion in terms of well, should I use natural log or should I use common log? And so some people just use natural log because that will take care of every situation. So you'll have to make a decision on how you want to go about attacking it. Okay, so best of luck with this one.